noticed that people around me, I mean, they started to get incredibly frustrated because I mean, most of my classroom, we weren't really delinquents, we weren't really bad people, like our classroom, or you know, our class was pretty well-mannered, there weren't any fights at all. It was year four, there was also barely any bullying, because I mean, most people, they were already out of, you know, their really, like, the roaring uh, years of puberty, I guess you can say. So, um, yeah, people were pretty nice back then. I just couldn't imagine someone pulling the fire alarm prank in our school and in our classroom so it was really a bad situation so yeah people got really frustrated and some girls actually started crying i believe one girl like really started sobbing and at first i was like oh my god is she actually the culprit it turned out that she wasn't but she just wanted to go home she couldn't stand it any longer and our teacher just kept us in the classroom. Then something really juicy happened because uh, one of the older girls, I mean, she was kind of rich and spoiled, I guess you can say. But in that situation, I mean, I couldn't really blame her because she actually decided to call her parents up because the teacher, um, she left our classroom to go to the principal because she wanted to know what the principal had seen because the principal apparently was like walking down there and saw some people from our classroom. So they immediately suspected some people from our classroom and that girl texted her parents and she was getting really frustrated and angry. And I mean, I also was pretty frustrated, wasn't really angry because I think it was a good idea to just, you know, be done with it, just get the culprit because at that point I didn't even know what was happening. So our class representative actually got up, went, you know, to the front of the classroom and while the teacher was gone, she told us, you know, she asked us, does somebody actually know something about this? Does somebody can, you know, the teacher is gone. I mean, you can just tell me who did it. Because, I mean, I want to go home. Everyone is tired. It's already like four o'clock. Like, we actually had like eight lessons that day, you know, eight terms. So we were like so frustrated and angry. And I believe it was even a Friday. So weekend was already upon us. But we just couldn't leave the classroom because, you know, we were, we were basically almost like kidnapped by our teacher. And our teacher just did not want to release us so from that moment on you know more and more chaos ensued it got more and more chaotic and people started you know being even more frustrated but then actually after like 10 minutes or 15 minutes the teacher came back with the principal and it was so awkward because the principal didn't really know who we were per se i mean we also didn't really know the, the principal because I mean, it was like kind of like an older lady who was, uh, I mean, pretty senile. She was getting pretty crazy and demented by that point. And uh, she used to be a teacher, but now in that moment, she wasn't a teacher anymore. So she couldn't really recognize our faces as much. Eventually it happened. The parents of that girl who she contacted or like called, I guess, came to the school and you know, she was, you know, pretty rich and spoiled, but at that moment I was like, I was getting more and more nervous because I knew that the dad of that girl was super strict. I mean, he was rich, he had a lot of money and people working under him. He was kind of like, you know, angry boss man and uh, people were really afraid of him. And so he came into the classroom. He started almost shouting at the teacher and the principal because I mean, there was no evidence and nobody wanted to say anything. Basically, he said, just release everyone. You know, you're basically getting kidnapped. You basically are being hostages in this situation and you can't legally do this because, I mean, there's only one culprit here and the other 28 or something people who are in the classroom did not do anything wrong, you know? So just release those poor kids. And after a long while, like I think five more minutes, you know, the principal was kind of talking to the girl's dad and eventually she just released us. I think there was like some gaslighting going on because I for sure didn't think that anyone did it because everyone was like, I am innocent. I didn't do it. I, I didn't even know about it. I mean, surely like I knew about it because I was there, you know, when the fire alarm went off, but I didn't see anyone from our classroom and it was kind of chaotic and people were like screaming and laughing their ass off when it happened. But I mean, I didn't really see 
anyone in our classroom at that moment so eventually we get released we get freed and uh, thanks to that dad like i'm still really happy that he did it because i mean it was friday afternoon we really wanted to go home and so we did and uh guess what one day later in the morning we had like whatsapp group with our classmates turns out that one of the guys in the corner who i was talking about earlier in the story actually was the culprit he did it he pulled the fire alarm and i mean oh my god he really freed himself by just stalling time i guess i mean he told us in the whatsapp group that please don't snitch on me and he apologized for his actions we all collectively kind of agreed to not snitch on him because you know we got freed and he didn't get caught so all things considered things really went you know uphill i mean things really turned out to be positive so uh yeah that was the fire alarm prank that got us almost suspended until that dad actually helped us get free again thank you so much for listening to this story if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like if you're brand new to the channel make sure to consider subscribing you can always unsubscribe later if you want and uh, yeah comment down below what you thought of this video i'm going to be uploading daily from now on be sure to check out my other videos they're showing up on screen right now i wish you a great day and peace out